right, so this time we're doing the geometric sequence formula. Uh, we've done the recursive definition, which means that if you know this term, you can find the next term. So in this example, as long as I know the fourth term, I can find the fifth term. As long as I know the fifth term, I can find the sixth term. That's going to be 32. Now, the common ratio here is 2. And the recursive definition is fine, but if I want to find out what, say, term uh, 20 is, I don't want to have to find term 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 19, and then find term 20. It would be great if I could just get to term 20 immediately. Um, now, the way to do it is to realize that uh, the ratio, so if I want to get from 1 to 2, I'm multiplying by 2. If I want to get from 1 to 4, I'm multiplying by 2, and then I'm multiplying by 2 again which is the same as multiplying by 4. If I want to get to the next one, I'm multiplying by 2 again, which is the same as multiplying by 8. And if I want to get to the next one, I'm multiplying by 2 again, and 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. More generally, if I've got term 1 followed by term 2, followed by term 3, followed by term 4, followed by term 5, and it's a geometric sequence. To get from term 1 to term 2, I multiply by r. And then to get from term 2 to term 3, I multiply by r. Now, multiplying by r and then multiplying by r is the same as multiplying by r squared. That's the third term, and I'm multiplying by r squared to get there. If I want to get to the fourth term, I need to do r times r times r, which would be r cubed, r times r times r. And if I want to get from term 1 to term 5, that's the same as multiplying by r again, which would be multiplying by r to the 4. So this brings us to our formula. If I want to get, and this is the important formula, if I want to get to term n, all I need to do is uh, take my first term, term 1, you usually call term 1a, and then multiply it by r to the power of, if I want to get to term 5, I need to multiply it by r to the power of 4. So to the power of n minus 1. So now that I have a really nice, neat formula and I know how to get there, uh, if I've got this one here, then if I want to know what term 20 is, I take the a value, which is the first term, which is 1, and I multiply it by r, the common ratio, which is 2 in this case, to the power of n minus 1, which is 19. I have a feeling this is going to be a really big number. So term 20 is going to be 524,288. Okay, so this is your geometric sequence formula. This is why it works. We're raising our ratio to a power to get there eventually. And here's a quick bit of working. Here's how to find term 20 in this sequence.